Now it's time for our Good to Know, where we share community events. Things might look a little different right now, but Riverside County is finding many ways to keep productive, stay entertained, and give back to the community. We here at JDS Creative Academy joined other local businesses and residents who have stepped up to ease the strain caused by COVID-19. Two of our employees, Hannah Davis and Addie Olias, sewed over 100 cloth masks that were donated to Rancho Springs Medical Center, senior centers, and other businesses and recipients, including JDS staff and job training participants. They are still sewing. The Red Cross is alerting that blood donations are very much needed to ensure a stable supply throughout the pandemic. To help answer that need, JDS Creative Academy is hosting a blood drive April 29th, May 7th, and May 21st. You can make an appointment through Livestream Blood Bank. Go to lstream.org JDS. This challenging time can present an overload of feelings, especially to those who have lost a loved one to the virus. Holistic Care Hospice is hosting a free six-week online series for COVID grief support. Classes just started Tuesday, and you can register by emailing meeting at holisticcarehospice.org. Thankfully, despite our current circumstances, good deeds are still happening in the community. To help me share some good news, I have Aaron Porras here with me via Zoom. Take it away, Aaron. Thanks, Gabby. I'm happy to be here. Another local business that has contributed to the community is VCA California Veterinary Specialist Marietta, who recently received a new ventilator for their practice due to shortage of ventilators. Their medical director decided to donate this brand new life-saving equipment to Temecula Valley Hospital. We have great news for local shelter animals. Most of Riverside County's adoptable pets have found new homes. With stay-at-home orders in place, many residents now had the time needed to introduce a new family member to the household. Our educators out there are missing their students more than ever due to the closure of schools. Nationwide, we have seen teachers and faculty members parade through their students' neighborhoods to show some love, while of course abiding by the six feet rule. Signs are made, horns are hung, and cheers spread, all in the attempt to give students a break from reality. We have seen the community come together in a variety of ways. Facebook is often filled with complaints and drama, but lately there have been unity and sharing of good deeds. Here are a few of the heartwarming posts we have seen. One mom wishes to keep the tradition of the Pledge of the Allegiance in her home to thank our military, especially in these trying times. Our essential workers are truly the front line of this pandemic. Community members are making sure healthcare workers are receiving recognition. These two kids are showing their appreciation through handmade signs. JDS Creative Academy isn't the only one making masks. These two put together 100 masks and made such an impact, NBC News shed light on their good deed. Mark said he didn't mind us sharing his story, as long as he didn't have to do another interview. As if grocery store workers weren't doing enough, this store manager from Stater Brothers in Wildemar offered to buy and deliver groceries to neighbors in need of essential supplies. Another good piece of news we found on Facebook was about Texas Roadhouse. Let's send it back to Gabrielle with more. Thanks, Erin. As many restaurants face economic hardships due to COVID-19, Texas Roadhouse owner, CEO, Kent Taylor's first thought was to protect his employees with an innovative approach. Taylor donated his salary for the rest of the year to pay his employees who are still working hard to feed customers nationwide. I have with me Macy Taylor, who is the marketing coach here with me on Zoom to hear how this generous donation has affected not only her, but also all of the stores that she supports. How are you doing? Hi, Gabby. I'm great. How are you doing today? Great. Love the get up. You're full. Thank you. PPE. Great. <laughs> so when did Kent Taylor make this decision and what were your first thoughts? You know, as soon as um, it became evident that uh, the pandemic was going to affect uh, our employees across the country, Kent started thinking about how he was going to step in and help. And as, you know, a Texas Red House employee myself, I know seeing that Kent did it for really the right reasons, not for media coverage, but because he does consider Texas Red House to be his family is what really uh, gives me the chills and inspires me. I've worked for Texas Red House for nearly 12 years, and we've always said the Texas Red House family 
and he really um, put his money where his mouth was. So that's really inspiring to see. And I know it gives us hope in a time that's sometimes seemingly hopeless. So we're very happy to be able to share that good message. Menifee is a small town and home to one of the Texas Roadhouse. How have you seen this community come together to further support Roadhouse in these crazy times? Yeah, our Texas Roadhouse in Menifee has always made it a point to be a part of the community. Since they opened, they've been a community partner to Menifee and Temecula, as well as the surrounding towns. And the town really stepped up and gave back to us during this time. We have seen incredible amounts of guests coming out for curbside to go, ready to grill steaks and family packs. So they're ready to support us as we've supported them, which is really inspiring to see. So you got a little setup behind you. So let's get to that and uh, yes. tell us how Roadhouse is accommodating customers during this crisis. Perfect. Yes, we have curbside to go, which could entail family packs, our regular menu, as well as ready to grill steaks, which we have pictured here. So you actually will order on the mobile app if you go ahead and download that or at togo.texasroadhouse.com, or you can call ahead to place your order. At that point, uh, you'll be given a quote time and then come on and pick it up. Uh, we have back behind me a tent here that shows you exactly where our roadies will be set up, ready to serve you. They'll then direct our guests into a parking spot right behind me here, which at that point we'll know whether or not you did place that order ahead or if you need a server to approach your vehicle as well, because we can do that too. Uh, the whole time maintaining service with heart while being six feet apart. I love their motto through this, truly an example of community support. It seems like we are all going a little stir crazy through this, but I know I'm not the only one who is marking their calendar and putting events down that I plan to attend once orders are lifted. An event I was looking forward to was JDS Creative Academy's DigiFest. Thankfully, it's not canceled, it's rescheduled. Check this out. DigiFest 2020 is still happening. Mark your calendars, August 21st, 22nd, and the 23rd. Immersive digital exhibits, exciting industry speakers, in-depth workshops, competition screenings, and awards banquet. Follow us on social media and go to digifesttemecula.org for more. I can't wait until August. Keep an eye on our website and social media for DigiFest updates. Submissions will open for three weeks this summer, so if you want to create something during this downtime, get creative, Riverside County. We want to know more about the good things happening throughout the county. If you see good news, email us at soi at jdscreativeacademy.org.